Journalists frequently obtain information by promising not to reveal informants' identities. In In Re Grand Jury Subpoena Judith Miller, the District of Columbia Circuit considered whether journalists may refuse to identify their confidential sources to a grand jury. During the 2003 State of the Union Address, President Bush stated that Saddam Hussein had recently attempted to purchase uranium from Africa. Several months later, in a New York Times op-ed, former Ambassador Joseph Wilson stated that the CIA had sent him to investigate Hussein's alleged activities in Niger. Wilson asserted that he uncovered no evidence that Hussein had attempted to acquire uranium. The following week, columnist Robert Novak reported that senior administration officials told him that Wilson's wife, CIA operative Valerie Plame, was involved in selecting Wilson for the mission. Novak's column prompted several news reports that government officials had revealed Plame's identity to multiple journalists. The Department of Justice launched an investigation to identify which officials leaked Plame's identity as a CIA operative, which is prohibited by federal law. Judith Miller and Matthew Cooper, two of the journalists who were informed of Plame's identity, were subpoenaed to testify before a grand jury and identify their confidential sources. Time Incorporated was also subpoenaed to provide documents related to an article Cooper published discussing the Plame story. The district court denied the three defendants' motions to quash the subpoenas. When Miller, Cooper, and Time refused to comply with the subpoenas, the court held them in civil contempt. The defendants appealed to the District of Columbia Circuit.